Hey everybody, it's Mike. Uh, today I'm going to go over rendering and how you actually export a video in After Effects. Um, so the first thing, right now I just have something that's looping right now. And if it's in the work uh, the work area, then that's the thing that's going to get uh, rendered. So if this was out here, the video would look like this. It'd go back to here and then it would pause and then it would loop and go back to the beginning and do it again. So depending on where your work area is, that is where the video is going to render. So to do this, there's a couple ways, but the, the way you can, the way to render out of After Effects is go up to Composition and then go down to Add to Render Queue. And what this is going to do, it's going to it's going to export the video in a high quality depending on what you ask it to do. So if you click on Render Settings. If you have a very complex animation, this is where you can do a low res for a client, and it's not going to take that long. Um, so you could do it as a quarter, and it's just going to be blurry, and it's also going to make it 480 by 270. But full is what I want this to do right now. All this other stuff you don't have to worry about. And close that out. And then lossless, I have a preset here for H.264. If you don't have that, just click on lossless, and you'd go for format. You'd click on QuickTime. And then the next thing, this is crucial, is format options. You don't want it to be animation because it's going to create a really large file that you can only open in a video program like this. And that's if you're going to send, let's say, a logo to somebody with a transparent background. But in this case, I would just choose H.264 and I wouldn't touch any of this stuff. If you're in CS6, you might have to click on audio. Let me see here. I'm going to hit OK. You'd have to click, make sure your audio output was on. Um, they That's a feature they fixed in CS or C, Creative Cloud 18. If you want to resize it, you can click here and you can do resize. That's another way to make it a small, smaller file size. But if it's a real simple video, like the one I'm doing right now, I don't need to do any of that stuff. I'll hit OK. And then you, last is just to choose where it's going to go. So I'm just going to throw it onto my desktop and give it, a, you know, you want to give it a specific name. This, I'm just going to just make it test. And then I'm going to hit save. And one thing, so you're going to hit this render button. Now, if you don't have the caps lock on, it's going to show you what's happening the whole time. and It'll slow down the render. All you have to do is just turn on your caps lock, which you can't see me doing right now. So if I hit render, you'll see it's rendering here. And then you'll hear that. That little ding right there shows that it rendered. And that's it. If I go to my finder window and I see my test movie. And I hit there, and there it is. And it's just doing one. It's not going to loop because the work area ends right there. Okay. Um, now if I do comp. So that's just basically, and the movie is just playing there. If I wanted to repeat it, oh yeah. And if you ever see this where you're moving this around and you get this error, um, like that little, it's not showing it, but I wonder if it's not showing it. Uh, yeah, that it's it's yeah that right there. That means your caps lock is on. Just turn that off. And um, so if I wanted to repeat this, I could either do an expression or I can just take these frames, copy them and go out a little bit and go out a little bit. And then I could have a bit more of a loop of what I wanted to be doing. But the video ends here in the video file I just did. Um, but for this version, it's just, yeah, I can render this whole thing out and it would just do this a loop. But yeah, the main thing here though is how to render. And uh, so hopefully that answers some questions. I know some people have asked me about rendering. That's just really it. It's super simple. Uh, post in the comments below if you want me to explain anything more.